Well, there's a little bit of surf out here today, but not too bad. That's probably the biggest wave of the morning right there. Super low tide, should be a pretty easy paddle out. Hey guys, what is happening? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another exciting episode of Lost Horizon Fishing. Today we are out at Bolsa Chica State Beach and it is absolutely beautiful out. Not a cloud in the sky. Very easy launch. I just got splashed once on the way out. Can't complain there. I've got that Nomad DTX out behind the kayak right now. And I got a good feeling that that thing's going to be working great today because it's worked great every other time I've used it. I've also got my sabiki. I'm looking for live bait. Got one live bait rig. And I've got a setup for throwing a hookup bait at the oil platform. So let's go fishing. In Huntington Beach, most of the seafloor that is accessible to kayak fishermen is a barren desert with no significant structure. There's also not much in the way of kelp, let alone a kelp forest. But one thing Huntington Beach does have is several man-made artificial reefs. The largest and most popular is Iser's Reef, which is located just under four miles from my normal launch spot at Bolsa Chica State Beach. It's a one-hour paddle or pedal in a kayak, and you should do your homework and make sure you pick a day when the wind and swell conditions are safe. An enjoyable one-hour paddle could become a nightmare if changing wind and swell conditions catch you off guard. You definitely don't want this to turn into this. Most of the time, including today, I'm fishing the area located between Oil Platform Emmy and the area that I often refer to as the Little Reefs located just off of Dog Beach. These reefs can be difficult to see on the fish finder because they have decayed considerably over the decades. The good news is that even though many of the structures have eroded away, the area still holds plenty of fish. There's a series of artificial reefs that I have yet to fish. These reefs are located about one mile off of Huntington State Beach, between Beach Boulevard and the Santa Ana River Jetty. And no, I'm not giving away secret spots. Everything I'm talking about here is clearly marked on the Navionics map that is available for both fish finders and smartphones. There is one catch though. If you're a kayak fisherman, the only way to access these fishing areas is to first paddle through the surf. Whoa, hookup already? Doesn't feel like anything too big, but hey, first fish of the morning. Wow, we haven't been tolling more than five minutes. Out here. Absolutely gorgeous out here today. I'm guessing we got a small sand bass, but you never know. There we go. Yeah, actually, not a bad size. There we go. Not a bad size sand bass. All right, nice little sand bass to start the morning off. Let's get this guy back in the water. There he goes. Took off like a bullet. Well, it looks like we got another small 
sand bass, I'm guessing. At least there's some fish out here. And what about that Nomad DTX? That thing, that thing catches fish no matter what. This feels like another one of those sand bass. It's about the same size as the lure. Oh, hey, not a sand bass, got a calico that time. go all right let's get this guy back in the water beautiful little fish all right fish number two in like I don't know 10 15 minutes time who knows what's gonna happen today there we go holy mackerel this DTX this Nomad DTX I can't believe this thing feels like a little better fish could be foul hook but this morning but literally I've only been towing maybe three minutes since I got that last little calico what do we have here let's see what we got here's the leader oh pretty nice calico look at that guy he ain't bad huh Look at this guy, he's not a bad calico. Let's get him back in the water. There's gotta be more fish out there. That's like three fish in about 15 minutes or so. That's what I'm talking about. Well, I'll tell you guys what, I'm like getting psyched for La Jolla Shores. I can't wait to get back down there. Last summer I had a few minor pitfalls with some health issues and I only made it down there once and I trolled for hours and didn't get a, even a single bite. But hey, everything, down, all that health stuff is behind me now. So hopefully I'll make uh, a number of trips to La Jolla this summer and uh, get a yellowtail. Can't wait. Maybe get myself in a little better shape. And hopefully I'll have some good luck. I think if I make enough trips, it's bound to happen. Alright, a little hookup bait action. A little calico here. There's not a lot of fish sitting on the reefs today, but at least there's a few fish. There we go, a little calico there. He was uh, right beneath me. I was just kind of yo yoing the uh, hookup bait. It worked okay. I'm in about uh, 21 feet of water. And I'm probably eh, a couple hundred yards off of Dog Beach. Yeah, the only way I can really get fish in here today is I gotta watch that fish finder like a hawk. As soon as I see any kind of marks at all, I gotta drop right down on it. Oh, here we go. Nice. Fish on here. I feel like a very big fish. Matter of fact, it feels more like dead weight. See what we got here. And yeah, not really feeling any head shakes here. Yeah. Yeah, it's gotta be 
seaweed or something. Oh no, what the heck? We got a fish, boys. His foul hooks is why he's not putting up much of a fight. We got a little calico there. Woo. Get hot out here. All right. Not a huge calico, but hey, another fish. According to my little uh, bite time app, uh, there wasn't gonna be much happening today. So hey, we're catching fish. Cannot complain. Let's get him back in the water. Whoa. Well, guys, I'm going to call it quits. I'm back at the uh, launch spot. Had an awesome day out on the water. Caught a bunch of calicos and some sand bass. And all in all, no complaints. I definitely got to work on my fitness, though. Got to start paddling more. Hitting the exercise bike. Hitting the rowing machine. Got to get ready for La Jolla. So, hey, guys, do me a favor. Hit that like button, subscribe, and tap that notification bell so you know when the latest Lots of Rice Fishing videos are released. And I will see you out on the water.